so we got our hero banner and our header and we did the header in the mobile to make sure it looks okay but the hero banner well it's okay in desktop but we haven't checked in tablet and mobile now i'm just going to jump straight to the mobile and you could then replicate your steps in the tablet as well. It's the kind, same kind of philosophy kicks in here. So let's just look at this in the mobile mode. Let's just undo the, the little Chevron preview we got. We'll go over to mobile. Now, can you see what's going on here? Because column one, we said 60% of it, nothing's allowed to go there. You now got this gap going on, okay? And it's kind of just not looking right at all. In fact, it's not looking right when I put 378. There we go. Make sure you do 378 when you do your breakpoint there so we see it exactly as it should sit. And the cat is now bolted to the middle of the screen there and it just does not look right as well. And I've seen so many websites where they do an amazing desktop. You view it on the mobile. They've actually gone live with a website or they've said, can you review our website? And they've put it on a forum, but they didn't bother doing the mobile. We do check the mobile, you know. So I'm going to go over here to, well, this column. And I'm now going to undo all of the margin and all of the padding. At this point, you're going, what? You did all that work and you've undone it. No, our desktop is still fine. Okay, look, the desktop still looks okay. All I've done is undo it for the mobile, okay? Just so I know what I'm playing with. I'm now going to go over to my column. And I'm actually going to say, give me about 15 pixels on the left and right. Sorry, that's percent. Let me give you 15 pixel. Give me a bit of spacing on the left and right. And you can clearly see that there. Let me just put this back to 378 like that. Okay, so I've now brought it in a little bit. The size of this wording is way off at the moment. Okay, so let's go to typography. And I'm going to set the REM for this to be two. Yeah, two works okay for that one. And if we now go to our subheader, where the typography was a 1.7, I think that should be about a 1.3. 1.3 works okay there. Now for the button, the typography for that was a 1.2. I think we can leave that as a 1.2. It's working okay on the mobile. Now, many of you out there are saying, yeah, but you used REM. We went from desktop to mobile and you went and adjusted it. You do, gotta, you do have to do a little bit of adjustment. But as the screen grows, it will accommodate the resolution sizes for your screen. You know, some screens are 4K. Some of them are standard high def, whatever. So it starts to accommodate a little bit of that. Now, if we go back into this column, I am just going to add in a little bit of padding and I'm going to go with about 10. It's not the full blown 15 that we had before, but I'm going to go with 10. We still have a problem, don't we, with the fact that the cat is kind of rooted there and we can't even see the cat. Let's click on the section, go to style and now go to the cat. Now, can you see the image? It's got grey hashing over it. Can you see this here? It's like um, a grid hash effect. It's not even a hash effect. It's like a checkerboard. It's a checkerboard effect. Why am I saying hash for? It's a checkerboard effect, okay? That means you can put in a different image. You can even do that for the tablet as well. I mean, what, it looks, you know, tablet, you've got to adjust it as well. So whatever image you add on the desktop, you can have a different image on the mobile. Let me click on the mobile. Here is our image, okay? I'm going to upload a copy of that image. There's the desktop image. Okay, that is the modified one. Now I'm going to click edit image just over here. Okay, edit image. I'm going to scale this image to be no more than 700 pixels in height. Kaboom. That is now going to be scaled, okay, to 1244 by 700. Again, don't worry, all I've done is scale it in terms of height. Then what I'm going to do is close that down. And then I'm going to go back in. Remember, when you scale, come out and go back in. Because if you don't, you sometimes lose the scale. So this is now 49 kilobytes. Let's hit edit. I'm now going to click crop and I'm going to move this. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say make the width. I'm going to say make the width of this be no more than 450 pixels in width. OK. And I'm now going to move it so I get the cat. But I don't get all the cat. I get a chunk of the cat. Then I'm going to hit crop, right? So we've got the cat, but it's not the full blown cat, if that makes sense, okay? We've got a bit of it cut off there. I then make sure I hit save. You must hit save here, for the crop bit. 
There's our desktop image. And there is our cropped image and scale, and it's 21 kilobytes. If you care about page speed and performance, you must have an alternate image for your hero banner when you get to the mobile. Let us now insert that image. As soon as I insert that image, there's my desktop, and there is my mobile. Okay, we have a different image. Now then, our image, we know what's going on. I'm now gonna just do this as a center right. So we now see a bit more of the cat over there. So it's full blown to the right there. I now know what my estate is for that hero banner. So I'm gonna go over here and rather than have, for my right hand side of my column, rather than having 15 pixels on the right, I'm gonna increase that to be about 50. That's too little, so let's go with 150. Now at the moment, the cat is further down and I think either you bring the box down or you bring the, the cat up. I'm just gonna do a bit about a minus 10 just to position it a little bit like that. We have a focal point here. We have Ginger, Tiger, whatever their name is, okay? We have a cat over there. That's the focal point of what we're trying to get out over here, right? So you don't wanna mask it with your wording. I see websites where the wording goes right over the focal point. You're kinda of going, what are you doing there? You've completely lost the point of what you're trying to get across. So desktop's fine. And of course, we've just checked the mobile is as well, but take your time, be patient and get it to look right. 